Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. The D Will Flex Volt 60 volt battery. Lithium ion. And the first tip, the first tip, the shipping caps to get them off. Nowhere does it say on here. You gotta figure it out on your own, which as you can see I did. <laughs> A few little apprentice marks on there. Do 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 depress the bouton. She comes right out. Now this is interesting on account of it running the 20 volt tools. Oh, the remnants of Dyson's past. Look at all the pixie dust. Jesus bomb. And it runs the 60 volt as well. Yes, I will tear this down. Son of a bitchin' thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a killer machine, I'll tell you that. Vive la différence, I say. It's the small things that make life worth living. That's what I tell my wife anyway. You see, this one's got little tabulations on here. What for pushing in these boutons? And this, the reason they've done this, this is interesting now. Because if it's over 100, let's see, if it's over 100 watt hours, you cannot ship it by aeroplane. Okay, so what they've gone and done is they have a mechanical switch that turns this into three packs of 40 watt hours that just happen to be packed together. So this can be shipped by airplane in this configuration. In this configuration, if these are depressed, now all of a sudden it's one that's one one pack that's 120 and you can't ship it. But where is where's the Milwaukee? It's 162 watt hours and they don't have that fancy dancy switch so you cannot ship it by airplane. Interesting, sneaky. I think it's pretty clever though. We got our tiny Securitai Torx bit. We're gonna have us a tool hoedown. Of course safety first here with the HPHT on account of uh, losing the combination for this ring long, long ago. And uh, you touch any metal bits, there's some angry pixies just waiting to brand you forever. Hark, the majestic call of the Northern British Columbia Barking Spider. Very seldom caught on tape. Huh, that's interesting. Fucking weird. I would have thought it would be banks three banks like this. Also, 60 volts, uh, you got sweaty skin, you'll feel it. You will feel it. The welder uh, open circuit is around 50 volts and if you got wet gloves or anything, yeah, it fucking lights you up like a Christmas tree. So, just be careful around this. Right off the bat, we see some interesting features we don't see, well, never seen before. Mica insulating sheets. Looks like metal. It might be metalized mica. Of course, mica has that shiny metallic sheen anyway. It's a poly, I believe it's a polysilicate material. So you wouldn't want to crush it up and snort it, but good for insulation and also good heat resistance. And there's a pocket there on this side, no pocket on this side. So you got to make sure it goes back together. I'm assuming, ask you me. Yeah, there we go. That's the reason. For the mica sheets so you don't melt this here are uh fuck it you see this this is the sort of fusible link if the thing gets too hot so this would get red hot and then the pixies would stop flowing probably same thing directly under here yeah so that there and that must be the terminal the other terminal so right there and there now they've added some Celastic just for physical, mechanical stability. Try and keep the, the wires from breaking off and whatnot. Rattling around too much in the enclosure. You can see some fiberglass tape. Overall, a very nice job. So it looks to be 15 18650 lithium ion cells in here. So 15 times nominal 4. It's only 45 volts. So where? So they must be considering the 4.2 volts. That would give us uh, another half of that. So you'd be right around 65 volts open circuit. 
We'll have to check that. But likely, yeah, 65, 60, right around there, 65 volts. That means each cell is providing the, the current because, of course, if you take a battery and you series them this way for the 60 volts, that means that you add the voltage, so you get 65 volts out of... But if you parallel them like this, where they have three banks and they're paralleled, then you get more current out of them. So what's the difference? Well, essentially, you're looking at how many watt hours it is. That's how much energy is actually in the battery. However, if you have higher voltage, just like the transmission lines that feed your house, you have higher voltage, you need less conductor because the current is lower. You're actually moving, you're getting the same amount of power, but you're actually moving fewer electrons. You're just putting more pressure on them to move, essentially. So that allows you to go with a smaller conductor. Smaller conductor means smaller components, yada, 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 cheaper cost for the same amount of power because you physically need to have smaller components in order to take the same amount of power if you up the voltage. So that's the only difference. But for the batteries, 60 volts, 20 volts, they really matter. Now we'll look at the surmounting casement here. Polycarbonate plus ABS. That of course gives you the boast of best world, both best world, both world. Ain't got tongue. You get the polycarbonate here and the ABS. There's no glass fiber reinforcing, but this material together is very impact resistant and quite uh, resilient, quite strong as well. So you would like to see PA6 uh, glass fiber reinforcing, I would say, and very likely on the red lithium, that's what it is. And it's also got a little bit of a shock bumper here with the nitrile rubber overmolding. This is a two-part process. This would just be molded in one part. So, However, this is a different component. So if we look at this, this might be PA6, might be nylon. But we look at what actually the rubber part that meets the road, it's actually resting on here. However, having said that, I treat my batteries pretty gingerly. I don't throw them around. And maybe that's part and parcel of knowing that they are pretty angry when they can, but then when they want them when they want to be. And then all these wires, of course, are just balance lines so that none of the cells get too overcharged. The voltages stay the same while they're charging it. Because if you have a cell that's kind of wonky, it'll take all the charge and blow up on you. Probably don't need to tell you, but you don't want that, especially if you're a manufacturer and it burns somebody's house down. And there's no, if you listen to that, there's no snap action contact. Well, that means that's just a very, that's just a sensing contact that's not actually switching the batteries. It'd be this guy would have some MOSFETs, some electronic switches that would tell it to enable the 60 volts. We got the pokey bits hot wired into the pokey bit receptacle. And then we turn this on. And nothing happens. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so there's clearly some electronicals in there that need to see a tool on before it allows this to be 60 volts. Oh! That's interesting. I was wondering about that because the terminals are marked. So thermistor and then C1, C2, that, that must be charging or balancing. And I was wondering how they could, why they would have more than one label on there. It's because the pinout actually has multiple pins on the same spade. So they're going top and bottom. This came as a bit of a shock to me, which it might not to you, but within the borders of our beloved nation of Kanakistan here, this is the only set of alligator clips that are not completely dickered, melted right to fuck. Looks like you need to have everything plugged in, including the power, and then it's gonna sense when you got your power on. Oh my God. Okay, got the IC clips in here, soldered in. Anything for the cause. Hold. Was that on hold the whole time? I sure as fuck hope not. 11 volts. What the fuck is wrong with you? What? Wow. 
What? Oh, there's some capacitors in there. Wow, cool. So we're just discharging the uh, capacitor, internal capacitor in there. Must be part of the electronics. So I've gone ahead and soldered in some uh, IC leads here. Holy, it's like it's like the Wilt doesn't even want us to to have a look inside their angry pixie chemical containment device. Oh, there we go. 62 volts. Holy fuck, I'm even in frame. Woohoo! Time to buy a lottery ticket. You know the thing's built for serviceability when you gotta get out the hacksaw. Thingies. Thingies. Thing. Oh, flashbacks. Dyson. I have a better idea. Hold my beer. I'm a surgeon with a hacksaw. There you go. It's all about the thumbnail, boys. Urea. We found it. SDI. Samsung. IG33. No idea what that means. That'll be looking at this, though. They're all seriesed up. It's... Focus, you fuck! Uh-oh. Time to get a new camera. <laughs> I think it was time to get a new camera when I got a new camera. Oh, come on, man. Anyway, two ampere hours when they're all seriesed up. So that means 22,000 milliamp hours. Each, each cell is 2,000 milliamp hours, so that'll be a 20R. Not the best batteries you can get. Not bad, but you can get 2,500, no problem. Getting this thing back together. Happen to put my hand on a real hot spot. What the fuck? Something bad is happening. Welcome to summertime in Kanakistan. Seven degrees out here. This thing, she ain't too happy. Something going on there. I'll keep the camera on it, but... I don't think anything's going to happen anyway. You know, I crush these things. The chemistry is such. They're so well engineered. I don't think they'll blow up even if you try and blow them up. Would make for good YouTube though. I'll keep the camera rolling. Oh, wait, really, boys. Something surprising. She happened. Nothing. Let's check see what's going on pixie-wise. Still showing 20.3 volts. But of course, they're ganged up in, in parallel, so... There might be one pack that's packed it right in. Do we dare? Indeed we do. Not recognizing the pack at all. What a bloody great waste. Makes you sick to your stomach. Is what I would say if it weren't such an amazing leap forward for mass consumerism. Adam Smith would be proud. Go straight from acquisition to the landfill, bypassing completely that pesky consumption. I mean, consumption takes far too much time anyway. A huge leap forward in disposability to say nothing of the benefits that governments around the world will get from... from I mean, just imagine how efficiently they can waste money now. Buy the thing, throw it out right there in the store. This here is the kind of research that purveyors of manufactured goods have been waiting for. Completely open circuit. Fried. That cell, 1.3. So, two cells bad. Yeah. Well, sometimes to make eggs, you gotta break a few omelets. Son of a diddly. I will get some parts on order. See if I can get some parts on order. See if I can fix this. If not, you can't fix it. Fuck it. Thanks for watching. Keep your deck in advice.